Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over what is a line of displacement. We use a displacement line when something has traveled. It's what's the distance that it has traveled, right, after it's been displaced. And this can happen from a variety of different causes, right? Um, often, you know, I think people use this for cargo ships, for procedures with that, or different things where maybe the wind or um, something else might cause a line to be displaced. But basically, if you have a line like this, right, starts here, ends here, it's been displaced this whole way, but the distance from the start, right, all the way to the finish, right, ends here, this is how much it was displaced, right? You can see and you can measure the difference, right? If it went from a straight path to how much it was displaced. And that's what we use when we're talking about a line of displacement in math. It can also be, right, if you have um, a cup of something and, you know, so we'll have some water here. And we can measure the water at this point. And then you can use the line of displacement to put in, for example, a rock. If you're trying to find the volume of this rock, how much space it takes up, you can drop the water, drop the rock in the water, and watch the water rise to a new point. And it has this new line, right? The water has been displaced. And we can measure that and then subtract um, the original amount from this new amount. And that will give us the rock right, using displacement. So there's a few different ways to use this line of displacement in math. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.